Bulls start out with the ball. And now let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Charlotte Hornets. At the forward spots, Hayward and Washington. Hall and Martin are the one and the two. And it's Paul. Now Martin. Pass the ball. Let's the three fly. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Hayward against MP. Carries it down low. Well, it hasn't been easy for him. But MP's doing a lot to get the fans on his side. He's putting in a lot of work in the community. And I'll tell you, that's a great way to win over a skeptical fan base. Put yourself out there. Show them who you really are. Make them know you're about more than just hoops. And you know, guys, there's one thing that may have hurt the Hornets the past few seasons. A lack of playoff experience among their core players. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And so it's Charlotte with it, following the bucket by the Bulls. Hey, the slam by Hayward. He's got some years on him now, Gordon Hayward. Even into his 30s, though, he can still punch it home. And of the Hornets' top five scorers last season, three have never been to the playoffs. And B.A., that can be tough when the pressure's on. They've gotten blown out in play-in games each of the last two seasons. But with all their talent, they should be in the postseason soon enough. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Ball passes to Martin. Here's Hayward. Puts up a three. Nails it from three. Hayward's got his second bucket on the night. You know, you can do so much with Hayward offensively because he's versatile. He's good off the bounce, and he can catch and shoot as well. Outside for Levine. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. I love the execution we are seeing thus far. Four shots and four makes. Washington outside. Humley finds Martin. Ball outside. Hayward outside. Six on the shot clock. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The Bulls have gone four of four from the floor. Perfect start. DeRozan against Ball. DeRozan outside. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Check out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect his shot. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy. But that had a high degree of difficulty. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay. They've been taking care of business, especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. There's Ball with a three, and again, it's Chicago with a three. Boy, Vucevic, so solid in all fundamentals of the game, and really an outstanding passer for a big guy. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Well, Clark, it's getting harder to find players' true positions. We've got bigs who bring the ball up the court. we got guards who defend in the post. Yeah, it's a very different kind of a game. Actually, we hear this phrase, positionless basketball, all the time, B.A., but the skill level of players is so vast now. I mean, everybody handles the ball, wings and bigs, and you mix and match skills across the court and in every position. So a lot of diversity in the skill set of players in today's game. Ball runs point with Levine flanking it. And it's Vucevic in at the center position. That's the group for Billy Donovan getting going here in the second half. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They've got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. Even as a... First personal foul. First team foul. 
shooting for Charlotte. Having Gordon in the front court really helps the ball movement. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Ball against ball to the inside. Here's MP. Pass to Levine. Levine against Martin. Now here's Hayward. Fires the three. And it's MP with a rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Six to shoot. Back to DeRozan. Shoots from 12. Cash. It's MP picking up the assist. DeRozan. For the Bulls. Well, you know, throughout this game, they shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. But they're also really getting it done at the free throw line. They've earned a lot of good calls and are making the most of every trip they get to the line tonight. On the court for Charlotte. Ball and Martin are the one of the two. Kelly Oubre out there with P.J. Washington. And it's Richards in at the five down low. Well, he's cooking with grease. He's got things flaming up, looking for an opportunity every time down the floor when he's that high. Out to Oubre. 4-3. Again, the miss by the Hornets. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide-open look. Back to Levine. Drummond to screen on Martin. Levine passes to Drummond. Dragic against Ball. Here's Levine for three. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. Look, I know he wanted to answer with a three of his own, but you got to play smarter. Play your game. The tournament has been a success, but some debate about whether the stat should count. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Here's Ball. And it's Chicago with the board. DeRozan passes to Drummond. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. And the shot goes in. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. Outside Oubre. Looking to end the run. Yes, sir. And it's Ball with the assist that time. For three. Ball's got six assists in the game. Ball has wasted no time showing off his passing skills. A really gifted distributor. Here's DeRozan. And the dunk by DeRozan. Well, guys, we've seen DeRozan. He's got tremendous bounce. And when he's airborne, not only is he up high, he's strong while he's in the air, too. Really special. Ted, how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Book night. Tries again. And he lays it up at end. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Here's MP. Richards pulls it in. Richards has got rebound number eight now. Ball against Dragic. Fires the three. Chicago grabs the miss. Drummond's got nine rebounds now. Had their fingerprints all over this matchup tonight. Just an impressive victory for the Bulls. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. 
And with this performance, they'll have claimed their eighth win of the year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with the win in the first game. Especially because they're going to get together three more times this season. You love to get an opponent figured out early when you're going to be seeing them that often. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Zach Levine. An unbelievable scoring performance. He absolutely took over and never let up. To the paint. Here's Drummond. The kick out to Dragic. Pass to DeRozan. And MP gets it to go. On the assist by DeRozan. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And here's Oubre from the arc. The shot, no good. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 17-5 run. Now here's MP. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. The Bulls. E2. The visiting team. 50. Thank you everyone for coming out here tonight. We hope you... Someone die or something? Your guess is as good as mine. So you don't know anything? No, I just got a text from Ricky saying to meet here as soon as possible. Yeah. Look, it's, it's a, so what does that have to do with me? You're Freddy's pet project. Look. What are you thinking? If you want to, you can fight back. Look, if a. MP, wait. What? We have a date tonight. Congrats on the starting lineup, boss. It's about time. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Ball and Levine are the guard set. DeRozan out there with Vucevic, and it's Santos in at the small forward. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he hit 72% of his foul shots a season ago, but I'm not sure he's real thrilled with those numbers. Now, here's Ball. To the paint. And Tatum pulls it down. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. It's Brogdon on the wing. Williams sets a screen for Brogdon. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Sinks the triple. A leap from the Tatum joined the league as a fantastic three-point shooter. Didn't have to add that to his game. And Jason Tatum seems GA like he's on the verge of being a superstar in the league. And Kevin, some would say he is already there. It feels like he's going to win an MVP in the next five years. He's already shown he can lead a team to the final. Here's Tatum after the made shot from Santos. Tatum no good. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. DeRozan finds MP. Over Gallinari. And the basket by DeRozan. That's his bread and butter. DeRozan has made a living with the mid-range jumper. Round the pass to Brogdon. 
And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. To the middle, here's Tatum. And good, coming on the assist by Brogdon. Tatum's got five points so far. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Here's Santos. Whistle blows. Basket is good. Look at how quick he was to bite on the pump fake. Left his feet way too soon. Bulls shooting their first free throw of the night here. How about the job Billy Donovan has done? Under 500 in his first season, but took the Bulls to the playoffs in his second year at the helm. Tatum with another miss. The Bulls have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. DeRozan scanning the floor. And the Bulls tack on two more. Lots of pieces have been added to this Bulls roster. For Donovan, you were just talking about him, to work with, coach, and lead. He has done a good job. They have a great mix, Kevin, of veteran leadership and young talent. Donovan has been able to mix and match to keep guys fresh. It worked well for him in the playoffs last year. He just couldn't find an answer for Giannis and the Bucks. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Here's DeRozan again, Chicago. Ever since his days at USC, DeRozan has been a natural on offense. So for Chicago, their last game will win against the Charlotte Hornets. And the dunk by Tatum. Man, and Tatum gets up on these alley-oops. Has a great grasp of when to attack and exploit the opponent. Now, here's MP. This game he had 13. Paul, one up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that Cammy. for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession you know guys Jason Tatum has really been making it happen and, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter a lot of threes early on he's been vital to spacing the floor for them makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish out on the wings it's Brown and Tatum Williams is out there with Gallinari, and it's Brogdon in at the point guard. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. DeRozan passes to Santos. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. MP's got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Bulls. Oh, what an impressive triple drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Rocked in the pass to Tatum. From outside, off the mark. The Bulls leading by eight. Outside DeRozan. MP kicks the ball. There's the pass to Vucevic. Up and in on the lane. Nice pass here to set that basket up. 90 seconds now into the second half. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics unit, their defensive ability. That they've got a lot of skill on that end of the court. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And they start the second half with three straight misses. MV finds Vucevic. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Vucevic is screen on Brown. Shoots from the line. DeRozan gets the bucket. DeRozan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. Boston. Here's DeRozan. Here's Santos. Good. 
Lillard. That's 10 points for MP. It's impressive. The level of domination at both ends. And you're seeing the results. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. So the Bulls five right now. The guard set is White alongside Levine. DeRozan out there with MP. And it's Vucevic in at the pivot, manning the middle. Santos, the pass to Vucevic. Inside. Rebound, Boston. Tatum's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Locked in right side. Back to Tatum. And it's MP with the rebound. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. To the inside. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. MP's got four points this quarter. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Outside, Horford. Pass to Brown. The kick out to Tatum. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got 26. And that's another three. And it, it really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. MP's shot is good. Yeah, these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Tatum with the screen on White. Back to Tatum. Lots of room. That one good for two. 28 points for him. A primary responsibility of Brogdon's. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. Pass to Santos. He kicks to Vucevic. Outside Levine. Outside DeRozan. Just five on the clock. Levine finds DeRozan. From downtown, it's good from long range. And the Bulls lead by 21. Boston. Down low, here's Santos, and that one drops. MP's got eight here in the quarter. Alex Caruso, he can make that pass in his sleep. Smart dishes to Brown, lets it go. The shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Outside DeRozan, here's Santos. Good, and it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got six assists now in the game. And so White will bring it up for Boston. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for Chicago. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And they took charge when it counted, and they'll be notching their ninth win overall. And they're able to even the score of this series at a game apiece. Still, two more to go in the season series. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for DeMar DeRozan. And how many times throughout the course of the evening did he make a momentum-changing play? I thought his relentlessness really keyed their success. And here are the Bulls now to the middle. Here's Santos. Plays it up and Santos. banks it in. Inspired tonight. They fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays. Especially during this last run, which ultimately put the game away. Pass to White. The kick out to Brown. That doesn't go either for Brown. And here are the Bulls now. The clock now can just run out for the Bulls. MP, good. Yeah, the they assist. suck the energy Lonzo out of this arena. Ball. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. 
I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. And so Chicago takes this one. That's the end of the game. Thank you, fans, for being a part of tonight's game. We wish you a safe journey home. Uh, this is great. This is great. Good. Hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for blowing up on you the other day. Uh, this is just... It's really hard for me to deal with. You know, it's too much at times. I know, but you don't have to figure it out alone. You. What do you think I'm doing? Giving half effort? Mila. Okay. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95, you'll have a great day and peace out.